Today we will look at a lift and drag question from the 2012 HSC paper. So let's begin. Welcome to the third installment of Eureka Engineering HSC Solution. Today we will look at a question from the 2012 HSC paper, question 15b. Now the very first step in doing these type of questions is drawing a free body diagram. So step one. body diagram. Now with this question there are four forces. There's the thrust force which goes in the direction of the object, there's the drag force which goes in the opposite direction to the thrust, then there's the lift force which goes 90 degrees to the plane of the object, so the thrust or drag, and then there's the weight force which goes directly downwards. Okay so let's draw them in. So there's the thrust, there's the drag, lift at 90 degrees and you have your weight force. <coughs> now this is perfectly true for an aircraft, however this question deals with a glider. Now with a glider there are no engines to provide the thrust, therefore there is no thrust. So I'll get rid of this force here, just for this type of question. Now it does descend at a 15 degree angle, so I'll just extend that and make this 15 degrees. So we've got our free body diagram. Now the next thing to do is we need to apply some of forces in both the X and Y direction. So step two. Now I'm going to consider the drag force to be my x-axis and I'm going to consider the lift force to be my y-axis. Now some forces in the x-direction equals zero and I consider that to be positive. So I have drag going in that direction. Now I need to break this into its horizontal and vertical components. So I'm going to draw a line in line with the lift, so that's the y and the x will be parallel to the x-axis. So this is our y and this is our x, this is 90 degrees and due to similar triangles or similar angles, this is also 15 degrees. Okay, so to solve this we use the cosine ratio, so cos 15 because it's adjacent on hypotenuse, so cos 15 equals, we call that y on w Therefore, y equals w cos 15. Now, we also need the x component of the weight force. So, this is opposite on hypotenuse, which is sine. So, this will be sine 15 equals, we'll call that x on w. Therefore, x equals w sine 15. Okay, now that we've got our components, we can continue with our calculations. So, we've got drag force going that way minus the horizontal component, the x component of the weight force, which is W sine 15. And that equals zero. So I can rearrange this, take D equals W sine 15. Now I know what the drag force is, because it's given the question, which was 1600. So W sine 15 equals 1600 newtons. W equals 1600. Divide that by sine 15, and that should give me 1681.93 newtons. So that's our total weight. However, we are interested in the mass of the glider, so I'm going to convert this to a mass. Now we know that the weight force equals mass times gravity. So W equals mg. In our case, is the total mass. I know what the total weight is, which is this. So 6181.93 because mass total, I'm going, to, I'm going to take G as 10 times 10. Therefore, mass total equals 618.193 kilograms. Now, this is the total mass. However, I want the mass of the glider. And we've been given the mass of the pilot, which is 83 kilograms. So, Therefore, 
mass of glider equals total mass minus mass of pilot. And that equals 618.193 kilograms minus 83 kilograms, and that should give you 530, 535 kilograms, or 535.2 kilograms. So this is the mass of the glider. So that's the first half of the question. Now the second half is to find the lift to drag ratio. So we've got a formula for drag, now we need a formula for lift. Now to do that, we use sum of forces in the y direction. So sum of forces in the y direction equals zero. I'm going to consider that to be my positive. So that's the direction to be positive. So I've got our lift force. And we have our y component of the weight force, which is W cos 15. W cos 15 equals 0, lift equals W cos 15, lift equals W, which is our total weight, which was 6181, 6181.93 times cos 15, therefore the lift equals 5971.29 newtons. Okay. So, we have our mass of glider. So we have our mass of glider. We have our lift. And we know that the drag is, and we know that drag equals 1600 newtons. Okay. Now, the lift to drag ratio Find the lift to drag ratio, it's simply lift over drag. So lift to drag is the same as lift over drag. Okay, 2 1. So the lift is 5971.29. Drag is 1600. And that equals 3.721. So that's your lift to drag ratio. 